Okay, so obviously uh, things went pretty well out there. Uh, you guys apparently are fast. So, <laughs> can you talk a little bit about that? Um, the race went pretty well for us. We just sort of had a goal to get out, um, try and hold a speed that hopefully no one else would be able to sustain. Uh, and we were able to sustain a pretty good speed right through the whole race. And, um, you know, if you can get out in front, you know, any row will tell you it's so much more comfortable being out in front in the lead and watching everyone else behind you. And it's basically what we did from, and this, that was basically the plan. All right, well, yeah, the, uh, the second thousand meters, you, you feel like, you know, once you were in control, was it? Did you did you execute a normal sprint, or was it like a, just kind of a managing effort, or what, what did you? Um, yeah, well, I mean, we sort of responded to what the British do, did mm -hmm. more than anything. You know, we had that length, and um, you don't want to do a mad sprint too early and then die. So we just sort of held our rhythm until we saw them going, or you just sort of sense when someone's you know starting to stack it in. So we sort of waited for them to take it up, and they closed up a little bit, and then. Once we sort of felt they sort of hit top speed, then we started putting in a few bigger strokes as well and um, just pushed to the line. So, um, yeah, we, once we established that lead, it was just a case of sort of covering everyone, really. Hmm. Well, uh, you know, um, another another solid regatta, another you know, good time and, and uh, you know. Yeah, it's, it's been a good World Champs, um, you know, a little bit different with the whole change in program. Yeah. We, I think it's a good thing, like, for... Um, you know, if they want it for TV, for a better spectator and, and mm -hmm. television-wise to make rowing a little bit more commercial, I mm -hmm. think it's a really good change. Um, they could probably tweak the program a little bit to still try and keep the men's eight at the end of the program because mm -hmm. that's always, you know, that's always the real pinnacle event of, you know, you could probably say any rowing event in the world is mm -hmm. men's eight, last race, bang, you know, everyone mm -hmm. stays to watch it. Mm -hmm. So that, that in respect, that's good. But um, otherwise, yeah, it's been really good. It's been a long week. Um, you know, between the first race on Sunday and then uh, the semi-final yesterday and then the final today. So, um, you know, we we sort of had to get up for the semi-final yesterday and then today it was just a matter of putting everything into practice and, you know, sure, we've worked a lot this year to be able to do it and we just had to make sure that everything we've done this year went into that final race. Well, yeah, did you have to adjust things? I mean, coming in, like, in, in preparation even, like, months and weeks ago to... to you know, to, you knew you were going to have to race the semi-final and then the final within a day of each other. Uh, was that something that you adjusted for, or was it just kind of took it in stride? No, not really. I mean, a lot of our training is um, hard days upon hard days, so I mean, it's no different. Um, I guess you could say you'd look to, you, you wouldn't want to push yourself too much in the semi to sort of do what you, you need to do, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, I guess it's just about backing up and um, we had confidence that we'd be able to do races in consecutive days so um, mm -hmm. yeah it wasn't it, it, it doesn't that doesn't concern me I mean it's the same for everyone yeah um, so yeah as long as it's fair I'm happy all right well great hey, thanks for for talking with us beauty thank Cheers. you all right thank you. <laughs>